What do you guys think about the mental health support for care leavers and people in care? Most of the time, like, even if they are professionals like trained in mental health, you've got to remember a lot of care kids, they've been through a lot more stuff. Yeah. So even people that are actually professionally trained don't actually sometimes know how to deal with care kid trauma. It it's back. a whole different level. If you've yeah. not been through some of the stuff that some care kids have, how are you meant to support them? Especially for after you leave care, I think there should be more services that are dedicated to like when you leave care. You, you can go through a lot of trauma and that's not gonna just go away. It's just like not, it is just the same thing as you don't just suddenly be stop becoming a care leaver at 25. Like your mental health stays with you. It's not something that you can just kind of like, oh, it's all, I'm all fixed, I'm all cured. Like you learn to manage it, you learn to live with it. Am I right? Like. Yeah. But the good thing is breaks now opening that mental health yeah. support. Like, it should be happening nationally, not just in Break, not just in East Anglia, yeah. because think about it, and there's God knows how many, like, kids in care throughout the UK, and they're not getting any, like, not the same support as we can get in Break. Yeah. I kind of think that, like, mental health to get support is actually quite difficult to begin with. Like, whether we're care leavers or not, like, even for people that haven't actually been in the care system, and for some people with mental health, they find it a bit too hard because their anxiety gets too much for them and it just plays on in their head and they're like, oh no, I can't do this. I think the other thing is, is that young people get gaslit a lot by professionals and just say, oh, it's just your teenage hormones or, oh, you're just becoming a teenager. Like, actually, no, for young people who have gone through trauma, that's not helpful yeah. at all. I think, like, until it gets to, like, a breaking point, nobody really takes you seriously. <laughs> but by the time you're at the breaking point, you've it's then got to wait late. for the support for even also, longer. Oh, I think also, once you're at, like, breaking point or crisis point, that's sometimes the point where you're beyond accepting help. You're like, like oh, what's yeah. the point? Yeah. I feel like there should be a specific service at least something for care leavers because some of the crap that we go through it's not as easy as oh six sessions will fix it and then you have to like fill out all of the forms in the first session so you've pra you practically only really get five sessions if yeah. you really yeah. think about it and it's like and it's not enough for especially for care kids it's like there is a reason why we don't trust people to begin with so what makes you think we are going to dish out all of the stuff <laughs> of deep trauma? It doesn't happen. Some care leavers are able to access their care files. Now that was like a massive thing for me. Yeah. And like when you're going through your care files, that can bring up so much yeah. stuff. And people that aren't trained enough to help care leavers deal with that, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> I've now had like the same therapist for a really long time. So I have a really good trust connection with her. Like I will talk to her about anything. Professionals in general need to be taken into consideration. Like each young person and young adult's situations, yeah. mental health issues and health issues. Cause like, as an example, if you have ADHD, the three strikes on your out system of youth team, that's not helpful. That's just basically yeah. saying, well, your ADHD yeah. doesn't, has made you forget something, but no, it's not your ADHD, it's just you being lazy. Like, instead of doing a three strikes and you're out system for everyone, actually cater it to the each and individual. I think the bottom line is, what we're trying to say is, is that support workers, key workers, anyone that works with us in the front line, so to speak, they need to be more, have more mental health training. Yeah. Um, and actually for services like youth teams and stuff to recognise that actually it's not just a six session and you're done type of deal. It's not a three strikes and you're out type of deal. Actually, you've got to put in the time and effort because you don't put in the time and effort with the young people or the adults. You're not going to get the result you want.